Every day, more than 2 billion people use Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, or Messenger. That's more than a quarter of the world's population. And despite a rising number of privacy scandals and public backlash, Facebook is still growing. Total revenue for 2018 was $55.8 billion, up 37% from 2017. But with all of those users paying nothing to use these apps, how does Facebook make money? Is the company selling your personal information to companies, politicians, and even foreign governments? It's actually much simpler than that. How do you sustain a business model in which users don't pay for your service? Senator, we run ads. Throughout its entire history, Facebook has relied on advertising for revenue. Here and there, the company has experimented with other types of revenue, such as hardware with its Oculus VR headsets and its new portal speakers. But really, all of that is chump change compared to the revenue that it generates from advertising. About 99% of Facebook's revenue came from advertising in 2018. There are about 7 million advertisers on Facebook. And the ads that you see aren't like a traditional TV commercial or newspaper ad that looks the same to everyone. Facebook and its entire family of apps use a type of ad that's much more sophisticated and much more valuable. When they first started out, these were simple display ads on the company's website. But since then, they have evolved into very targeted ads where an advertiser can pick the kind of audience that they want to reach. I believe that started happening after Sheryl Sandberg joined the company and from her experience what advertisers on Google were looking for and she could provide that to them uh, and probably more than that using the Facebook data that everyone volunteers. Facebook ads are targeted, which means each ad that you see was meant specifically for you. Companies only want to pay to show ads to people that are likely to buy its products. Facebook provides advertisers with a near guarantee that they won't waste their time or money, an assurance that a prom dress ad will be seen by a high school student and not a retiree, or that an ad from a new burger joint will be seen by a meat eater and not a vegan. As a result of this targeting, corporations can save money in the long run and drive more sales. For advertisers who simply want to reach as many people as possible, there's no better way to spend money than Facebook. The other reason that advertisers use Facebook is because of the targeting that the company offers. The company has a ton of data on its users, and that's very valuable to advertisers, especially those who may be on a budget and want to make sure that they're reaching users who could realistically turn into customers. This has led television and print advertising to decline. This year, it is estimated that digital advertising will surpass traditional advertising for the first time, capturing more than half of all ad dollars spent. But how does Facebook know exactly who you are and what you're interested in? Many paranoid users have alleged the tech giant is listening in on your conversations through the mic on your phone. This isn't true, although Facebook has filed patents that suggest it could eventually pick up audio signals from your TV to give you better ads. It's also filed a patent that can interpret the expression on a user's face as they read their newsfeed. The company claims it will not use these patents, but clearly it continues to focus on ways to gather even more data on its users. At the moment, it can gather almost as much information just by what you do on its family of apps. Of course, you input basic info like age, location, and education on your profile, but you're also liking pages, joining groups, RSVPing to events, and sharing your location. Facebook is able to package all this information and actually harvest it to try to figure out what kind of person you are and perhaps what you are most interested in, or better yet, what you are looking to find, and then sell that information to advertisers who are trying to find you. Facebook can also get data on you from other websites that you visit through what's known as the Facebook Pixel. Based on this kaleidoscope of details, Facebook forms an advertising profile for each user, putting them into certain groups that advertisers can pick and choose from when buying ads on Facebook. Corporations can target ads based on your interests, what type of phone you have, your political leaning, ethnicity, and even income level. And with enough information, these ads can blend into your feeds so well 
that you might not even recognize it as an ad. How does Facebook make money? Before y'all get mad at the whole situation, cause you know, that white woman in her beautiful narration voice, I'm assuming she's white, is that a safe assumption? I would think so. If y'all heard me doing a voiceover on a CNBC video, you would know that I'm, you know, Afro-American. She was speaking in a tone that made you worried, that made you get upset, that made you think about why am I sharing all this information? Record scratch, breaks, whatever sounds we put in. Gotta look at things different. Not glass half empty, glass half full. We got access to all this information that Facebook's been collecting on us. And I'm gonna tell you how you can use it to make money. My ducks, my swans, welcome to the pod. My name is Dorian from group82music.com and right here, this is how Facebook makes money. 98% of their revenue comes from advertisement. There are five companies that y'all have heard me talk about that you need to always pay attention to and make sure that your money is attached to in the market in some capacity. Disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. That's your money. Wherever you put your money is up to you. I'm talking about what I do. You want to take the advice? Cool. If not, I don't give a damn. I ain't liable. The five companies, Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, Google, Fang, F-A-A-N-G, Fang. The first one is Facebook. 98% of their revenue comes from ads. That means them ads ain't going nowhere. $70 billion? Facebook's a one-trick pony. They literally only depend on advertising dollars. A company this big, this powerful, this innovative, entire business model is on ad dollars. The government could take them out if they wanted to, but they're not, so there's a reason they're not, which is why you need to pay attention to this and use this to your advantage. The first way you can do this is by installing Facebook Pixel on your website. What is Facebook Pixel? Facebook Pixel is like the beautiful narrated white woman voice said keeps track of where people are on your website and sends all the information back to Facebook and Instagram so for example when you guys click the link in the bio on my Instagram and in my YouTube www.group82music.com backslash or the forward slash backslash link in bio the moment you click that link I have Facebook pixel installed at group82music.com so I know exactly who you are on Facebook and Instagram I don't know you personally I ain't never seen your profile but Facebook and Instagram does so when I want to run ads to y'all for my class, I'm going to come to you first because I know you've already shown interest because you clicked on the link. That's why you got to be careful on what links you click on. That's why I don't be clicking y'all whack ass music links because I don't want you fucking stalking me. Because I have access to all this information, Facebook Pixel has been invaluable to our business at Group 82. So you need to do the exact same thing. You need to install Facebook Pixel on your website. If you want instructions on how to install Facebook Pixel on your website, stick around this video and I'm going to tell you down the line how you can figure out how to do that. Also, there's this tool, this Chrome extension that's free. It's called Facebook Pixel Helper. You need to install that on your Google Chrome browser on your computer. Why? Because this allows you to see who is serious about business and who is not. Like I just said, Facebook Pixel has been invaluable to us here at Group 82. But do you want to see which people have Facebook Pixel installed on their website? Because they hitting you up about brand deals. They hitting you up about marketing, how they can make you more famous, how they can get your business more money. Digital advertisers hit y'all up all the time so you go to google chrome store and you install the facebook pixel helper extension and it's going to be this little blue thing that's at the top of your browser and it's going to be blue when people have facebook pixel installed on their website it's going to turn green and tell you on what pages if they don't have facebook pixel installed on their website it stays gray this is how i've been able to sort through which one of y'all was real which one of y'all wasn't if y'all ever reach out to me about some sort of brand partnership collab or something first of all i don't read 99 of them emails and if i do read the email and i click it and you ain't got facebook pixel installed i don't want nothing to do with you i know you don't know how to market because facebook is the f of fame these are the five biggest companies in america and probably top 10 in the world and their entire business model is dependent on ads and you ain't got facebook pixel installed you ain't serious about this out here so if you are an entrepreneur you need to have facebook pixel installed on your website right now all right duck here you go facebook pixel shit how do you get installed that leads me to point number two www.facebook.com backslash blueprint what is this facebook blueprint is where you go to learn about ads any of the facebook apps that run ads you will learn all about it it gives you everything it gives you instructions on how to install your pixel based on what kind of websites you have you want to do it manually or you want to do it 
automatically. It talks about which ads they offer, where they offer. They have quizzes you can take. It is extensive. It's all free. But if you pass the test that they have when you do it, you get one of these. This shows that I'm Facebook Blueprint Certified, Creative Strategy Professional. This is one of two Facebook ad certifications that I have. I also have the Digital Marketing Associate Certification. I studied, I took the test. You gotta take it in like a quiet room where ain't nobody around. You can do it at home. Someone's watching you take the test while you're doing it. it costs like $150, but I know how to run ads. So when I talk to y'all about ads, you know I know what I'm doing. Just like I just told y'all, if you go to somebody's website, they don't have Facebook Pixel installed because you see from your Facebook Pixel helper. If somebody's trying to teach you ads and they ain't Facebook Blueprint certified, why the fuck are you listening to them? Would you talk to a lawyer who ain't went to law school? Would you have a doctor work surgery on you who ain't went to medical school? So why are you talking to these people who ain't Facebook Blueprint certified? Because it ain't that hard to do, especially if they're running some sort of like, you know, ad agency or teaching you a Facebook ads class. That's just something that you need to get anyway to stay abreast on what's going on i got it am i gonna have a facebook ads class you got damn right i am it's gonna be facebook and instagram ads because that has absolutely changed our business because all this information they've been collecting for years since february 2004 when facebook debuted we have access to it all and if you are a business owner you need this information it makes it so easy to sell whatever product it is you want to sell so if you want me to have a facebook ads course when we launch our university go ahead right in the comments right now duck i want you to have a Facebook ads course, or even better, go click the link in the bio because that's going to get you on our Facebook pixel. So then I'll be able to find you to run ads to you when it's time to talk about the course. This is how this works. It's how you make money. It's how you get rich. Don't say duck never helped you. You on Instagram, click the link up top. You on YouTube, click the link in the box, not the pod. Y'all stay true. For sure. Better not stare when I grab your waist. Okay. Okay. Rubbing on your booty because I want a little taste. Low cake. Low cake. Chicken, chicken, chicken when I snap your legs. Oh, babe.